You are about to learn how to take your fear of sleep paralysis and turn it into a lucid dream. This is what sleeping is like with versus without sleep paralysis. But Nate, that guy is just asleep. Exactly. You experience sleep paralysis multiple times per night. Each time your body enters rapid eye movement when you dream, your body temporarily paralyzes you. This is to keep you from acting out your dreams, like this guy. It is a biological, natural trait that keeps you from doing any harm to yourself. The type of sleep paralysis that most people are familiar with is when you wake up from a dream and you realize that you are still paralyzed. Pause. This is called an intruder hallucination. You may feel like there is a presence in the room or you can see someone or something looking at you. Don't worry, they're usually pretty friendly. Just look at that smile. This is called a chest pressure hallucination, which is exactly how it sounds. You feel like there's a lot of weight on your chest. Finally, there are vestibular motor hallucinations. With these, you may feel like you're leaving your body. These are usually associated with out-of-body experiences and astral projection. Mr. Demon, what might cause somebody to have a sleep paralysis episode? People that suffer from insomnia, jet lag, stress, anxiety, and other disorders report it more frequently. Please be my friend. I'm not here to scare you. Okay, 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 Mr. Demon. Thank you. Thank you. Now, all of that sounds truly terrifying, but what if I told you that you could turn your sleep paralysis into a dream? Step one, remain calm. If you happen to wake up in sleep paralysis and you are aware that you are in it, remain calm. The last thing you want to do is panic. This could take some work to start feeling comfortable being in that state, but try meditating daily. Meditation helps calm the mind and helps it focus on one thing at a time while getting rid of any outside distractions. The more comfortable you can get meditating, the easier it will be when you find yourself paralyzed. Step two, visualize. Once you have remained calm and told Mr. Demon that you didn't want to hang out with him tonight, start visualizing the dream you wish to be in. Try to remember any details you wrote in your pre-dream journal, visualize the location, the people, the taste, smells, anything you'd like to have once you enter your dream. Visualize yourself doing a reality check and recognizing that you are dreaming. Once again, meditation helps great with visualizing your dream. Step three, be patient. Not every attempt will allow you to enter your desired dream. Sometimes you won't even notice that you've entered the dream. It's important to be patient and let your brain do the work. You may see the transition that could look like this, and that's a good sign that you are entering a dream. If you tried and tried and tried, but just cannot enter a dream or cannot handle the stress of sleep paralysis, you need to wake up. Remember to remain calm and follow these steps. Try to hold your breath, wiggle your fingers, and tell your brain to wake up. Come on, Nate, wake up. This isn't real, wake up. You could wake up instantly, or it may take a little bit of time, but I've really found that holding your breath is the best way to go. There are a lot of lucid dreaming techniques that use sleep paralysis to become lucid. I recommend for people who don't want anything to do with sleep paralysis to use dream-initiated lucid dream techniques. I hope that this video has helped you understand sleep paralysis and that you can now use the knowledge that you have to turn it into a lucid dream. Remember to ignore the internet on pretty much everything about sleep paralysis because they're just doing those things and telling you those things to scare you. If you wanna learn how to master lucid dreaming, consider subscribing. Comment if you have any questions, and if you like this video, I will make sure that you have a lucid dream as soon as possible. Sweet dreams, guys, and good night.